हेलो एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज जी के प्रोग्राम लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वॉज समाइम्स सीन इन द न्यूज द सेन काको आईलैंड आर लोकेटेड इन येलो सी पैसिफिक ओशन ईस्ट चाइना सी और सी ऑफ जापान द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी ईस्ट चाइना सी Recently there was news that the China Coast Guard vessels were seen operating near the disputed Senkaku Islands. The Senkaku Islands are an uninhabited group of islands situated in the East China Sea administered by Japan. The islands are the focus of a territorial dispute between Japan and China and between Japan and Taiwan. China claims the discovery and ownership of the islands from the 14th century. while japan maintained ownership of the islands from 1895 until its surrender at the end of world war 2 the senkaku islands are important nesting sites for seabirds and are one of two remaining nesting sites in the world for the short-tailed albatross alongside torishima izu islands therefore option c is the correct answer now let's begin today's session first question is recently the exoplanet toi 460 3b was discovered by a team at physical research laboratory ahmedabad the discovery was made by using which of the following prl advanced radial velocity abu sky search spectrograph or paras telescope astrosat telescope devsthal telescope or national large solar telescope the correct answer is option a paras telescope Recently a new Jupiter sized exoplanet with the highest density known till this date and mass 13 times than that of the Jupiter has been discovered by an international team of scientists led by Professor Abhijit Chakraborty at the Exoplanet Research Group of the Physical Research Laboratory Ahmedabad The discovery of this massive exoplanet was made using the indigenously made PRL Advanced Radial Velocity Abu Sky Search Spectrograph or Paras at the 1.2 meter telescope of PRL at its Guru Shikhar Observatory in Mount Abu. This was done by measuring the mass of the planet precisely. The newly discovered exoplanet is found around the star TOI 4603 or HD 245134. Using Paras, scientists discovered it as a planet by measuring the mass of the secondary body and hence the planet is called TOI 463b or HD 245134b therefore option A is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding participatory notes one investment in the indian capital markets through participatory notes has seen an upward trend recently two participatory notes or p notes are issued by registered foreign portfolio investors or fpis three only sebi registered investors are allowed to invest in the indian market through participatory notes how many of the statements given above is or are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option b only two recently the investment in the indian capital markets through participatory notes has seen an upward trend in the past few months hence statement 1 is correct The participatory notes are offshore derivative instruments issued by registered foreign portfolio investors or FPIs hence statement 2 is correct FPIs are non residents who invest in indian securities like shares government bonds corporate bonds etc the p notes are issued to overseas investors by FPIs who wish to be the part of the indian stock market without registering themselves directly hence statement 3 is not correct to invest in the indian stock markets and to avoid the cumbersome regulatory approval process the investors trade participatory notes therefore option b is the correct answer next question is recently seen in the news the green tech safety award 2023 is an initiative of which of the following ministry of steel ministry of corporate affairs green tech foundation or green keys india the correct answer is option c green tech foundation Recently the Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited or RINL has bagged the prestigious Green Tech Safety Award 2023 under Safety Excellence category for its outstanding contribution to improve workplace safety in the year 2022-23. The 21st Green Tech Safety Award 2023 was organized by the Green Tech Foundation. It recognizes and honors the outstanding organizations that are taking responsibility for defining a commercial future by adding value through excellence in fire 
Safety, Health and Security Management. RINL, the corporate entity of Vishakhapatnam Steel Plant, is a Navratna public sector enterprise under the Ministry of Steel. The RINL is the first shore-based integrated steel plant in the country and is known for its quality products. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, recently seen in the news, Teddy Law is an initiative of which of the following ministries or institutions? Ministry of Law and Justice, Ministry of Communications, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation or Niti Aayog? The correct answer is option A, Ministry of Law and Justice. Recently, the Teddy Law program under the Department of Justice, Ministry of Law and Justice achieved a new milestone with 40 lakh beneficiaries across the country having been provided with pre-litigation advice. It is an e-interface mechanism to seek legal advice and consultation at a pre-litigation stage. It connects needy and marginalized in need of legal aid with the panel lawyers via video conferencing or telephonic facilities available at common service centers situated at the panchayat level. Launched in 2017, the telelaw service is now directly accessible through the telelaw mobile app. The citizens can also access these services over the internet at no cost through the digital seva portal. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, a diet low in this nutrient which is found in cocoa, Certain fruits and vegetables drives memory loss that comes with aging. In the above given statement, which of the following is talked about? Vitamin B1, casein, dietary fiber or flavanol? The correct answer is option D, flavanol. Recently, the research led by the Columbia University and Brigham and Women's Hospital US published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that replenishing the nutrient in mildly Flavanol deficient adults aged at over 60 improved their performance on tests designed to detect memory loss. The foods that contain flavanol include cocoa, grapes, kale, blueberries, strawberries, peaches, broccoli, tomatoes, etc. The flavonoids are naturally occurring compounds found in plants. Among flavonoids, there is a distinct subgroup known as flavanols. Flavanols are the main flavonoids found in cocoa and chocolate and can be especially abundant in certain cocos. Research over the past decade has identified flavanols as showing diverse beneficial physiologic and antioxidant effects, particularly in context of vascular function. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, all contracts made in the exercise of the executive power of the union or of a state shall be expressed to be made by the president or by the governor of the state. Which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution represents the above statement? Article 294, 299, 289 or 284? The correct answer is option B, Article 299. Recently, the Supreme Court has held that the government when entering into a contract under the President's name cannot claim immunity from the legal provisions of that contract under Article 299 of the Constitution. Article 298 grants the center and the state governments the power to carry on trade or business, acquire, hold, and dispose of property and make contracts for any purpose. Article 299 delineates the manner in which these contracts will be concluded. Article 299 of the Constitution provides that all contracts made in the exercise of the executive power of the union or of a state shall be expressed to be made by the president or by the governor of the state and that all such contracts and assurances of property made in the exercise of that power shall be executed on behalf of the president or the governor by persons in a manner as directed and authorized by them. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the quasi-moons. 1. They appear to orbit a planet in the same way that of a natural satellite. 2. Until now, no quasi-moon of the Earth has been found. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the astronomers have discovered a quasi-moon and asteroid that orbits the Earth but is actually gravitationally bound by the Sun. The experts used the Pan-STARRS telescope at the top of Halaikala volcano in Hawaii to observe the space rock which has been labelled a quasi-moon. The quasi-moons are also known as quasi-satellites because they appear to orbit our planet in the same way that our natural satellite, the Moon. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The quasi-moon of the Earth has been named 2023 FW13. 
Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Chytridiomycosis disease. 1. It affects the frog population of the world. 2. It originated in Australia. 3. It is a fungal disease. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only 1, only 2, all 3 or none. The correct answer is option B, only 2. Recently, a new study has developed a method to detect all known strains of the Chytridiomycosis disease. This disease affects the frog populations around the world. It has wiped out 90 species till now. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Chytridiomycosis or Chytrid for short has driven severe declines in over 500 frog species. It originated in Asia. It is believed that global travel and trade in amphibians led to the disease being unwittingly spread to other continents. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. The extreme rate of mortality and the high number of species affected makes chytrid unequivocally the deadliest animal disease known to date. It is a fungal disease. The chytrid fungus affects the frogs by reproducing in their skin. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding World Multiple Sclerosis Day 2023. 1. It is celebrated every year on 31st May. 2. The theme for year 2023 is Diagnose. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. That is both the statements are incorrect. Recently, the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment organized various activities across the country to observe World Multiple Sclerosis Day. The World Multiple Sclerosis or MS Day is officially marked on 30th May, hence statement 1 is not correct. It brings the global MS community together and to raise awareness and campaigns with everyone affected by MS. The theme for World MS Day 2023 is Connections, hence statement 2 is not correct. The MS Connections campaign is all about building community connection, self-connection and connections to quality care. Multiple sclerosis is a potentially disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord, central nervous system. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Last question is recently a stone image of Vakunt Vishnu has been found from which of the following sites? Kurukshetra, Mathura, Indraprastha or Gokul? The correct answer is option C, Indraprastha. Recently, the excavations at the Purana Kila Indraprastha have unearthed many notable findings. The fresh excavations of the Purana Kila site began in January. A spoked copper wheel of Kushana era, an arrowhead of Rajput period and coins dating from the Mughal reign are among a range of ancient artifacts unearthed in the latest excavation currently underway at the Purana Kila site in Delhi. The excavation has yielded a remarkable collection of artifacts. The notable findings include a stone image of Vakunt Vishnu, a terracotta plaque of Gajalakshmi, a stone image of Ganesha, seals and ceilings, coins, terracotta figurines of humans and animals, beads of various stones and a bone needle. Identified as ancient settlement of Indraprastha, a continuous habitation of 2500 years at Purana Kila was established in earlier excavations. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Modified Semicon India program is an initiative of which of the following ministries or institutions? Ministry of Communications, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology or Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.